hey guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel guys by the title below you know what we're here for i'm gonna be doing a basic makeup tutorial and when i say basic i mean basic because honestly baby i usually look for videos on basic makeup tutorials honestly i ain't gonna tell no lies the steps and the amount of products that they use sometimes i'm like damn I don't think I have so much money to buy all these products that they just show and the steps that they take it does not look beginner friendly but in their head it's beginner friendly but we're gonna be doing something very minimal also we're gonna just do a little talky talk first thing when you're doing makeup you always want to prep your face and do skincare so I'm gonna be using some Mac so this is a prep prime and skin refresher from mac oh crap y'all this was not open so it has this little thing here let this sit and dry so what has been going on with life y'all if you are new to my channel welcome if you're not new thank you guys for still supporting me um i am still doing hair I'm a cosmetologist, but I love makeup too. So I don't consider myself as just being a stylist. I consider myself as being a beautician. And right now guys, I'm gonna go in with my daily moisturizer. It's from Aveeno. It, it got cake up and for some reason, it's just not coming out of the thing. So I just do this cause girl, we ain't about to, spend no extra money and there's a lot of products inside okay guys this is my milk foundation i really like this foundation because even though it's a all it's a all over cream concealer and it's also a foundation i don't put it everywhere on my face i only put it where my blemishes is and it's gonna just do what it's supposed to do this is very lightweight and you only put it to where your blemishes is but i just feel like if you're gonna wear makeup and you know normally when you're doing a makeup look you're not seeing blemishes so it's not like I'm lying or, you know, because obviously I show you my face before taking off the makeup. I do have acne, but I kind of like doing makeup lately because recently it does has been very um, therapeutic to me. And it's not really to say that I'm feeling stressed out or not feeling myself or I'm feeling ugly. You know, everybody have their own different reasons to why they wear makeup. For me, it's like, it's more like I'm a service advocate. I service clients. So for me, I sometimes just feel like I want to look a certain way. Being in this realm of the beauty world, you want to have a look. Um, Honestly, sometimes I go out just plain Jane. I don't put on anything. I would just put on some mascara and some lip gloss based on the time. But for me, sometimes I like when I do a full face or depending on what I wear or something like that to give my clients that, you know, or I color my hair and they be like, oh, I like that color. What kind of color you think? Or, you know, it just give them, it just give me that vibe to like, you know, I'm selling a look to my clients. So they feel comfortable, say, hmm, she look like she know what she doing or whatever. Even if I don't know what I'm doing, you know, I just have that look. I'm gonna go in with a Murphy brush and this is a edge foundation brush. So what this brush does is give you a full coverage when you're applying your makeup. And this is the V2, this is the V102 tongue tie, okay? What I do before like, sweeping it like uh, uh, uh. i don't do that i just tab first to make sure i'm getting all the coverage 
of what I want my makeup to look like. So am I still doing hair? Yes, I am. I still do hair, but I also do makeup as well. I like the both of them. Um, so being in school, it was 10% makeup and it was 10% nails. So we didn't really get much of makeup. So what my teacher usually do is give us this blank piece of paper with a face on it. And what we will do with that face is use crayons, use our makeup kit that we got and just put it on the paper. So I would say that we didn't use much of the makeup stuff in school and we never really applied it on ourselves in school. It was more so we watch a video on it and then when we have like a hair show, we will use like face paint that they use on kids and put it on our mannequins because if we use a real foundation on the mannequin, it would just come out looking weird. So all my face is covered and you're not seeing blemishes. You could still see my pimple, but as I said, very lightweight, not doing too much. Our fourth product so now it's time to do the eyebrows
this blush is really really pigmented guys so what i'm gonna do first is my lips and then i'm gonna move on to my cheekbones and the reason for this is because this is very stain tinted and i don't the fact that i already put um my foundation on my face i don't want to use it on my cheekbone first and then applying it on the lips so i'm just going to use my brush and it's a lip brush my lip brush and i'm gonna just put it on with that first but i'm gonna put it in the cark first and then add it to my cheekbones Freshen up it a bit. And there you have it, guys. Something very simple, easy, breezy, lemon squeezies. So, yeah, rushing to work, rushing to school, or you just want to do something very quick and easy. And you just want to be out of the house you know this is very easy there's no lashes on there's no shadows but definitely you got to come back to see you know the rest of my journey into makeup as i am spreading my wings into makeup and just playing with my face as a clean canvas just like what i do here 
um yeah i'm just ready to share it with y'all and i hope you like this video if you do guys please leave a comment and also guys tips um on makeup ideas that i'll probably you know choose from to see if i will try them out test them out and see whatever i could do to like yeah let this part of the journey of doing makeup fun so yeah guys um if you haven't yet subscribed what are we waiting for subscribe to my youtube channel because more will be coming guys bye